Yeah. Mm. You have always you have spoken about um how you feel about the death of AK. Are you still hurting too much or are you recovering? I, I want South Africa to keep hurting. I want people to 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 hang Sir Ramaphosa for the by the neck because he is directly responsible for that death. He is directly responsible for that death. They killed this man so that they can suppress the secrets of that family. And these are all blood cult things. Sir mm. Ramaphosa does not love his wife. He married her so that she's, he can create a family pact. Yeah. Mm. I was there the day that Sir Ramaphosa was elected as um um as ANC pr- president. I was at Moritele Park with Patrice Mutsepe. Yeah. And he was so happy. Yes, they won. They lost. <laughs> yes, but they are a family blood pact. Jeff Khadebe and, and his wife, they don't even sleep in the same house. They are married just for business purposes. That's mm-hmm. Devin Gogo's evil stepmother. And I say Devin Gogo's evil stepmother because, you know, Devin Gogo was not treated well before she was Devin Gogo. Yeah. When she was Mandi Sakhatebe, she suffered. She had to make something of herself, right? Yeah. Because her stepmother didn't want her. Her dog. Now that she's famous so and influential, now she wants to take pictures with her. You understand? That's how evil she is. That's how they co-opt people. They even co-opted our, our, our boy, Younger Chief. You watched that life. I did. Yeah, that's not Everybody did. Yeah, he, he, he must explain to himself. He must explain. Why hasn't he explained why he was staying in a 120,000 rand a night suite, spending the entire night in a suite with, with Bridget Khadeb? He must explain that. Why? What were they discussing? Mm? It's so deep. I mean, she's one of the top three richest women in South Africa. She's the head of South African mining, whatever, whatever. You know? Yeah. You know, I get so sad when I started speaking about AKA, you know. Like, every day you are Don't just... Don't get sad. Get angry. Every day you just... Get angry. It, Don't get like, sad. Y- get angry. I the, think the, the it's... Sad, the sadness is the worst thing that you can do. Because when you're sad, you want to suppress that feeling. When you're angry, you want to do something. Even when I wake up, you know, th- this is the last time. The song just plays in my head and mm. I think I know he's around. Then Mm-mm. That's the thing. That's the thing. Then I open to it. Death is irreversible. Uh, so how can, how can a sitting president allow for this to happen? A political killing like this. He must be benefiting somehow. And how does he benefit? He silences the guy who keeps his family secrets. Because... Some of the family secrets about how they got money in KZN went down with Anele. Yeah. Anele was also exposing her family secrets when she was having episodes and stuff like that. Yeah. And Keenan knew those family secrets. And they couldn't have him walking around alive as a liability. Yeah. He never told me those family secrets, but I know that he went to the grave with them. Yeah. He never shared And he also ones. knew that he was not wanted. There's this song, I, rem- I don't remember the title, where he was talking about it, the funeral. Yeah, uh, my diary. But I, wa- I yeah, warned yeah. him about that, and I warned his mother about that. When I flew to Cape Town and I went to go see him, I warned him about that. Yeah, mm. he spoke about that on Diadara. It's it, it was mm. it was hitting from there. Yeah, you know, I like, was the one who was telling him that these people are passive aggressive. Him using the word passive aggressive, those are my words. I said these people are being passive aggressive. Yeah, you know. I remember the day that they came to collect her stuff. And, um, Where, here in Joburg? No, in Cape Town. Oh, Cape Town, before, yeah. Before um, the funeral. Because I even went with him to go view her body and everything else, you know? Yeah. When we were viewing her body, he even touched her. And she was cold. He was just say, remarking about, yo, oh, her body is so cold. Because obviously they took her out of it. Yeah. But he viewed her body. They did her, stitched her nicely. You know what I mean? She looked proper, you know? Um, but he still couldn't get the image out of his head that he saw when he looked yeah. over. 